15 years. Jewish community in Poznan. The 15 year activities of the Jewish community in Poznan, 1999 to 2014. The year 2014 is a very special year, an historical moment and a jubilee for the entire Jewish community in Poznan, as well as those interested in religion and Jewish culture. 15 years ago, after many years of absence from the religious and cultural life of Poznan, the Jewish community was reactivated. This anniversary is an occasion to celebrate it, but also to sum up what has been done. Please allow us to recall and familiarize you with the most important dates and events of the past 15 years before you receive a movie prepared especially for this occasion. Key dates. 1999. Restoration of the Jewish community in Poznan, located at 26 Antony Koshinsky Street. We have worked at this address for five years. The year 2003. Relocation of the Jewish community to the historic headquarters of the commune at 10 Stavna Street. The building was built before the First World War. Two thousand and seven, organizing and commemorating the resting place of the great Rabbi Akavai Eger, located on Gwagowska Street in Poznan. Since then, numerous pilgrims from all around the world have visited this place. The restoration of the tomb was funded by Akava Eger's family from Manchester, Joshua and Samuel Halpern. The festivities associated with the event were funded by the Chrysal Company. Two thousand and seven. By a resolution of the Poznan City Council, the square in front of the synagogue, once desecrated by Germans, was named after Rabbi Akavai Eger. 2009. The establishment of a synagogue and bringing the Holy Torah to the community. Orit and Meshulam Safron from Israel funded the Holy Torah. Benches and Mehitza were supplied by the Poznan Volkswagen Company. 2009 the establishment of the new synagogue foundation, the Centre of Dialogue. One of its aims is to promote good international and interreligious relations to promote peaceful coexistence, especially between Jews and non-Jews, both in Poland and abroad. Conducted activities. <laughs> The community operates on a number of major activities, both religious and cultural. The most important of them are the renovation of Jewish cemeteries throughout the country with the participation of local authorities, youth organizations and volunteers of different faiths. Organizing in Poznan an open celebration of the anniversary of the establishment of Israel, done in cooperation with the Adam Mickiewicz University and the Botanic Garden. The artistic setting, prepared by numerous bands and many prominent musicians with whom the Jewish community established lasting contact and works on a day-to-day -day basis, adds grace and splendor to the celebrations. With the General Consul of Russia, Vladimir Tkachev, we organized festivities to celebrate finding in the Poznan Citadel, after 68 years, the grave of the father of Dvori Schreiber from Israel. Representatives of the office of the governor of Yelkopolska also participated in the search for which we thank them. The community, in cooperation with the city of Poznan, with the support of the Friendship Society of Israel and Poland, helped in establishing a partnership between the cities of Poznan and Ranana in Israel. Every year we co-organize Days of Judaism with the Catholic Church and the Coexist Association. This event is accompanied by lectures, exhibitions and concerts. We work with representatives of various Christian faiths. We cooperate with the authorities of Poznan City and Wielkopolska, the Poznan Philharmonic, the Poznan Grand Theatre, the Cultural Centre Zamek, the Botanical Gardens, the Jewish Street Association, the Old City Council and many other organisations. We work with Poznan Universities, the Adam Mickiewicz University, 
the Medical University, the University of Economics, the University of Life Sciences, the University of Arts. We also work with the University of Ariel in Israel. Along with His Magnificence, the former Rector of the Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznan, Professor Stanisław Lorenz, and the Friendship Society of Israel and Poland, we co-created the Department of Hebrew Studies at the Institute of Asian Studies. We co-organized with the Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznan, the first and only one in Poland, the World Congress of the Hebrew Language in Poznan, which was attended by eminent professors from universities from all around the world. The honorary guest at the Congress was the daughter of Simon Perez. We constantly cooperate with the Polish Embassy in Israel. We work with the World Association of Korczak in Israel. We co-create educational programs for volunteers in schools like the Secondary School Complex No. 2 in Krzeszyna, named after Charles de Gaulle, the Music School on Solna Street in Poznan, the Secondary School Complex of Economics in Poznan, the Middle School of King David in Poznan, Middle School No. 1 in Murowana Gostina, named after Hippolyt Segelski, the Police Academy in Piwa, High School No. 10 in Poznan, the Film Club Association Jeszontka, and schools from across the country. We cooperate with municipal and provincial police headquarters in Poznan. At the Woodstock Festival, together with the provincial police headquarters in Gozhov, we conducted an educational program. We cooperate with the regional police headquarters in Bidgosh. We promote Jewish culture by organizing events such as Jewish cuisine. These events are accompanied by presentations of Jewish cuisine actions for the preservation and remembrance of people and history. For many years, along with the Embassy of Israel, we organized the ceremony of presenting medals for the righteous among the nations for people from Poznan and Wielkopolska. We took part in honoring Irena Sendler, a righteous among the nations, by giving her name to a tulip, which was bred by Jan Lichthart from the Netherlands. On this occasion, we organized a concert called Light in the Darkness, which was seen by two million people around the world via the internet. We moved the monument commemorating the victims of labor camps for Jews from the city stadium to Queen Jadwiga Street. We attended the commemoration with a memorial plaque of Professor Franciszek Rasheya, who died rescuing victims of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. We co-organized the commemoration of Professor Robert Remak, MD, with a memorial plaque on the front of the National Archives building. We participated in the city's commemoration with a memorial tablet, the Poznan Synagogue, which was destroyed and profaned by the Nazis during World War II. We co-created, along with the publishing house in Poznan, the first city guide called Jews in Poznan by Dr. Rafał Witkowski. The project was co-funded by the German-Polish Economic Club and Friends of the Community. Media and the Movie the reconstituted community, from the very beginning of its operation, relies on cooperation with all the media interested. Thanks to the effort and support of the community, it was able to produce an extensive, over two hours long, documentary about Poznan's celebration of the 65th anniversary of the State of Israel. The movie has been aired many times on TVP Polonia and TVP Poznan. DVDs of the movie have gone to Europe, the USA, Israel and Australia. It was also submitted to the Jewish International Film Festival. The community was the co-sponsor of the documentary film Eyes of a Child, Felicia from Poznan, whose main character is Felicia Brin, a rabbi's wife, rescued from the Holocaust by the Schrocker family from Govajevu. The film was sponsored by Volkswagen Poznan. The community has its own website, which constantly and comprehensively informs everyone about all our activities and events relevant to those concerned. It is an excellent source of information about the religion, culture and history of the Jewish people. The author and administrator of the website is Ms. Grazina Kafka, who the Jewish community thanks very much. 
awards and honours. During these 15 years, the community and its president have received numerous awards and honourable mentions. Let us mention only the most important ones. Medal of Merit for the City of Poznan for the Jewish community in Poznan. The European Citizen Award for the conduct of religious and intercultural dialogue, including the chairwoman, Alicia Kobus. Polonia Restituta awarded to the chairwoman of the community, Alicia Kobus, by the Polish president, Bronisław Komorowski, handed over by the deputy governor of Wielkopolska, Przemysław Pacha, during the ceremony commemorating the 15th anniversary of the restoration of the Jewish community in Poznan. In conclusion, we would like to thank all the institutions and individuals that in these past 15 years have helped rebuild the community and permanently enter it in the religious and cultural life of Poznan and Wielkopolska. The film production sponsor is Chrysler Company. 